So my research is in the uh, field of particle physics, and the, the data that we want to analyze in particle physics is produced by colliding proton beams at very high energy. And if we have a lot of high energy, uh, then we can produce things that have a lot of mass. That gives us an opportunity to discover new particles that have never been seen before. The LHC, uh, the letters stand for the Large Hadron Collider. It's located in Geneva, Switzerland, and it's basically a very large ring uh, underground, 27 kilometers in circumference. And these uh, proton beams that I'm talking about at, at 70 EV collide at four points around the ring. The milestone that we, that we achieved is to accelerate protons at 70 EV for the first time. And not only did we uh, accelerate them to 70 EV, but we, uh, we recorded uh, the data inside the CMS detector uh, successfully. And all studies uh, carried out since yesterday morning show that the CMS detector is functioning beautifully. And that gives us hope for doing uh, exciting physics in the next few months and indeed over the next few years. This picture shows uh, a display of a particular event, a particular proton-proton collision. Uh, the protons collided at the center of the cylinder that's depicted here and produced um, through the transmutation of energy into mass a whole collection of charged particles. The path of those charged particles in a constant magnetic field are represented by the yellow curvy lines. So you can see there are dozens of particles produced in this single collision. One particle is a bit special. It's represented by the red line. That is a, a muon, and the muon is a particle that can penetrate through material relatively easily. So its trajectory is measured by this red trapezoids you see in the lower right-hand corner. And in fact, Northwestern plays an instrumental role in commissioning and, uh, and uh, calibrating the, those detectors in the muon NCAP system. The other sub-detector system where Northwestern plays a major role is the hadronic calorimeter. And energy measured in the hadronic calorimeter is represented here by the blue trapezoids, the blue polygons. And so Northwestern uh, has contact actually with two uh, major de de sub-detector systems that show up in this event display. The theories that are uh, proposed by the theorists, for example, some of them here at Northwestern, connect with uh, mysteries uh, in cosmology and astrophysics as well. So for example, uh, we might learn something about the origins of the universe, uh, the symmetries that relate uh, space and time to extra dimensions, or uh, even what is the nature of dark matter. The universe uh, is, is filled with not only protons and electrons and ordinary matter, but with dark matter, and we don't understand what is dark matter. So one of the primary questions of science today is to, to understand what is dark matter. And the physics that we'll do at the LHC will help answer that question.